So in this video series, we've talked about how you can reduce waste in your daily life, as well as how you can use the other bins at your curb to reduce the amount of trash that you throw out. Today, we'll be talking with Todd Hatfield, Senior Operations Foreman at Covanta. Tell us about Covanta, Todd. Covanta is a worldwide waste energy company. We bring your household waste into our facility. We make steam with that heat that we get off of the refuse. With that steam, we create electricity. So about how many homes or businesses are you powering? Roughly Woodburn or thousands of homes in Woodburn. So that's a ton of energy. You know what, let's take a little bit closer look. We're now here in the Covanta control room to learn more about what happens to our trash after we throw it away. Dakota, you know, we already saw where the trucks come across our scale and they go onto the tipping floor. We have two cranes, six ton cranes. We have young Todd up there, another Todd, <laughs> who's running the grapple right now. He'll pick it up out of the trench, mix it, lay it out, make sure it's all good and put it in the hoppers. Those hoppers are about 30 feet. They drop down, it's fed out into an angled grate. It gets completely burnt out from the top to the bottom. It's a 93 to 95% reduction. So you're saying that 10 bags of garbage, if that went in, you'd basically reduce the size or the volume of that trash to one bag of garbage, more or less? Pretty much, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Once we have it burning, we create steam. So much like a tea kettle, it's a giant tea kettle. <laughs> We're making steam. That steam goes into a turbine generator. It works basically with a vacuum and horsepower. That steam's creating some horsepower. Hmm. It goes in steam, right? But then it changes state once it's used that horsepower up and becomes condensate, so back to a liquid. Which, by the way, we reuse that condensate in the system so it just doesn't dissipate. We continue to feed it back through the boiler to create more steam, to create more electricity. A reuse or circular system where you're trying to conserve all those resources used to make energy in the first place. We're burning stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Well, in order to control the emissions, we have injection for NOx and uh, carbon, control for SO2s, we have control for dioxins and particulate matter, all of that before it ever exits our stack. So there's multiple steps to control emissions and control what comes out of the stack after the process is finished. This is a highly complex system, is well under control and well within all the regulations. The other thing that we do is we collect the ash off of all of that and it goes into our ash system. So what happens to the ash um, after this process? We actually have it going a couple places. We have a monofill that we've had since 1980s and we also use it as a cover for Coffin Butte at the landfill. So you're using it as cover over garbage as they're compressing the garbage of this larger landfill. Yes. So Todd, how much energy are we talking that Covanta produces? So we put out about 13 megawatts an hour, but annually we're looking at 22 million megawatts. You're powering just from your daily operations at Covanta. Exactly, you flick on the lights, maybe some of that's coming from us. We hope this inside look at what happens to your trash after it leaves the curb helps you to think about the process and your trash at work. But if you're wanting to learn more about reducing your waste in general and getting involved in your community, you can join the Marion Resources Movement Volunteer Program here in Marion County. Learn more at marionresourcesmovement.org to volunteer and rethink waste in your life.